Hello, so I received a really, really nice gift from Hype. It is a Chinese MF11D gas mask, if I remember the name right. And why it's a weird name to remember is that there is the standard MF11 series, which is basically the FMJ05, and this mask is a completely different face piece, but it's for some reason still called the MF11. So who knows why it's called that, but it's a really cool mask. So it's a dual filter mask, um, panoramic lens, and it's got a really nice panoramic lens, as you can see, because it's actually, the nose cup and everything's built to the shape of the lens, rather than it just being a generic, you know, front together thing. Has a really good head harness. So this is actually a really good high quality Chinese mask, you know, one that's now starting to rival a lot of Western masks in quality, which is something I think, um, you know, has been something I think a lot of people have wanted for a while, because obviously the issue tends to be that if you look on places like AliExpress or whatever, eBay for Chinese masks, uh, quite often they can be reasonable price for what they are, but a lot of them are always pretty lacking in quality compared to Western masks, you know. And nobody's saying, oh, I want an FM53 quality mask, it's just, you know, a lot of people would kind of want something that's affordable when it's new, rather than being surplus, um, that's decent quality. So anyway, um, I think he said this is Ghost threaded, but um, these are actually Ghost filters, he sent me two of these, uh, these are Chinese Ghost filters, they seem perfectly alright. Um, and, yeah, it's, there's not much to say, really, about me putting the mask on, um, but there you go, that's what it looks like. As you can see, good, clear panoramic visor. Now, let's get these straps nice and tight. But it, this has made me aware I really do need to cut my hair. Um, because, um, you know, so you can see the mask seems to be pressurising. It's very comfortable, actually. Um, another thing I like with this, I can open my mouth and talk quite well without it feeling like there's a lot of pressure on the jaw. So it's designed well in that regard. This is a large, uh, this particular one he sent me, and I'm glad he sent me a large because this is a good fit. If you see, my eyes seem like they're pretty central in the mask as well, which is good. You know, they're not either down low or too high. You know, so it looks like I am probably a size large in uh, Chinese masks, or at least ones that use this sizing guide. So it's got a voice diaphragm and XL valve type thing at the front there. Um, I don't think that cover comes off easily, otherwise I'd show you, but it's probably a similar voice diaphragm system to some of the other Chinese masks use. Obviously two input, uh, two 14mm input ports there. You've got your glasses attachment bit there if you had the spectacle kit for it. Um, it seems at the top there, so they would hook on and go down. Um, so now you want to probably see, does it actually work at blocking odours? So let's try it. And the answer is I can't smell anything, so it does work. So, um, yeah, this is really cool. So I think Hype said this is actually... Um, basically like the civilian sort of built version or commercially sold version of the FMJ09 because there's the FMJ05 which is the regular MF11 then there's the FMJ08 which is the one that's like an S10 ripoff and then there's uh, the F uh, FMJ09 which I think is basically this mask it might be that that one has a drinking tube on whereas this one doesn't but overall this is really really good and what I would really like is if all the Chinese factories, please put this strap system on all your Chinese masks now. Um, you know, don't use the horrible system <laughs> that some of them use, like the Puda, where they ping off. But this is actually a really good strap system, you know. Uh, six point, comfortable skull cap head harness, you know. Works absolutely fine. So, there you go. Uh, I tested it earlier in a stream with um, a night vision optic down like that. And I could just about see through it. It's not ideal for looking through uh, binoculars. Well, for binoculars, this is absolutely fine because it's quite a flat face piece. You might be able to see that from the side. Um, but that is fairly flat there. The main issue is just simply the... Um, you know, you wouldn't be able to get, using both filters, a cheek wild with a rifle for obvious reasons. Um, and same goes for scopes, you know, just because you'd need a blanking plug on one side. But... In terms of um, design, this is very good, and I'm sure with the, you know, military version, they probably do only use one filter, so they can shoulder a rifle. But yeah, overall, uh, very, very impressed with this, so a massive thank you again to Hike for sending me this.
Uh, I don't know, you know, um, if it's very easy to get these, because I think he said I'm probably the first person in Europe to ever do a video on one of these. So they're probably not very common outside of China at the moment. Um, and as always, I'm sure I'm going to get comments in this video, despite the fact I've said it several times. No, I didn't buy this. I don't know how much it cost, you know, where you could buy one from and all that, because that always gets asked whenever I'm sent anything for a gift and I say it in the video. But yeah, a massive thank you to him. I do really appreciate that. Um, I need to post his MD3 at some point when he's moved house so I can um, get that all sorted so he can have an old British uh, ionisation chamber. Um, but yeah, there we go. There's this. Um, I'm really impressed with it. It's, you know, nice that there's actually a really good Chinese mask because, as I said, a lot of them have been meh or crap. Um, and, you know, some of the meh ones are okay as meh ones if you're not paying very much for them. But this is one that I'm actually like, wow. This is good. Oh, and by the way, I can smell the air freshener quite strongly now I've taken it off. So it definitely works well. Also, a little side note, um, because these are Ghost filters, uh, you can obviously put these filters on GP5s or whatever as well if you want to. So, if these Chinese TF1 ZA P32 filters um, are easy enough to find online, they are Ghost threaded. So, there you go. Um, I don't know if it actually says RD40X4 on the side anywhere. Because most of, obviously, the characters are in, um, there, but as you can see, that's a Goss thing. And I tried it earlier on a Goss mask and it did thread in absolutely fine. So, there you go. What I might need to do is, I think, what I will do personally before I actually use this mask properly, um, is get a blanking plug for one side of it. Because, um, you know, this would be a lot handier, personally, if there was a blanking plug on the right side, so I only had one filter on it. Because although it's very easy to breathe with two filters, you know, I, for just the sake of not constantly banging filters into my shoulder, I'd only want one. But yeah, it's overall a very, very good mask. Um, and I love it. So thank you very much again. Um, and yes, I'm, I'm very pleased that there's finally a Chinese mask as well that has a really good strap system. Like that, that's one of the weirdest things to me on this. You know, comfortable straps that feel really secure on the mask, not things that are going to ping off because they were just literally, you know, put on using a sort of very basic friction system. So, there we go.